friends welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be exchanging some of the cash out of my sinking fund envelopes this is one of my favorite videos to do i think i get the best feedback from these videos i love doing it y'all like watching it so let's just get right into it i want to thank you all for coming back to watch another video and say welcome to any new viewers or subscribers and thank you to any returning viewers and subscribers so this is my sinking funds binder that i am in love with i just love it um it's still very new so it doesn't like fold back all the way so i just take the funds out and put it to the side and sometimes i have to take like the paper ones out, put those to the side, take out the zipper ones and put those to the side. So I have a total of 15 um, sinking funds, but I will only be exchanging the bills out of eight of them. So I'm gonna get into that. And um, I also have some new well, they're the same envelopes, but I changed the color. I went from yellow to this pretty uh, rose gold color. I don't know if y'all can really see it. Let me see. You can kind of see it better up close. My light is like right there. So yeah. And I have some new categories. So after I'm done exchanging the bills, we will go over uh, my new categories in the sinking funds. So my travel fund is not going to get anything that to the side my gifts envelope is also not going to get anything for school plans i'm going to change out 20. so we'll do 10 15 20. i'm just going to put this money to the side and as y'all know we'll come back once i'm done and count it all to make sure that i have the same denominations and i don't think i mentioned that earlier but i took out exactly $670, so a little under $700. Um, I didn't wanna put $600 because I didn't want anyone to think that I was, um, you know, like speaking of or referring to the stimulus check. So I have not gotten my stimulus check. I probably won't get it because if you've been watching my channel, then you know that I moved a couple months ago and I heard there's like a thing that like if you moved you may not get it you have to claim it on your taxes so i did not get one and i probably will not will not get one and i'll just have to claim it on my taxes so that's that <laughs> um birthday i'm going to exchange out 100 so i have one two three then 20 40 60 80 one oh hitting the camera for a $100 bill. And so that will give me $400. One, two, three, four. For my medical fund, I will not be putting or exchanging any bills out of that. My church fund, I'm gonna exchange 20. So, I'm gonna go with these two tens, put those to the side and grab a 20. So I have 100, 120, 140, 145. And I usually kind of like double check with the trackers, but because I'm dealing with a smaller amount of money, usually I'm exchanging like over a thousand dollars, but because it's a smaller amount, I'm sure I'm fine. <laughs> so car maintenance is not gonna get anything any exchanging and then miscellaneous, I'm gonna exchange out $100. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. And grab a 100. I'm gonna just kind of double check this one really quick just to make sure. Oh yeah, 105, we should be good. So that's all for the paper envelopes. Most of the exchanging will take place in these envelopes right so here. My emergency fund, I will be exchanging out $250. So 
100 for 100 100 for another 100 I like when I get the old ones I don't know why <laughs> uh, and 50 so 20 40 and 50 for this $50 bill so let's just go ahead and count that just to make sure everything is good I'm gonna put this to the side so I should have 290 100 200 250 270 290 and Christmas I'm going to exchange out $20 So that's going to be two tens and I'm going to take a 20 for 75 okay electronics will not get anything functions is not getting anything giveaway is not getting anything taxes I'm gonna exchange out $20 so yeah I'll just do two tens I thought I had another five but I guess not and so I have $35 in taxes And the last envelope is future and I will be exchanging $140 in this envelope and have a lot of ones in here so let's go 50 60 70 80 90 100 put that to the side for $100 and then 5 10 15 20 put that to the side for 20 and 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now I have $140 in future. So that is going to be all for the cash exchange. Um, I did a smaller amount this time, but again, any opportunity I have to exchange out bills, I do it because I just love doing these type of videos so next we will get into my new sinking funds and my sinking funds tracker setup so before i get into setting up the sinking funds i just want to count and make sure that i have the same denominations that i took from the bank before moving forward with the rest of the video and i don't i usually speed up this part but I don't have a ton of cash, so I think I'll just let it play through. And then I can come back later and like make sure it's all going the same direction. Hopefully y'all can still see that. Push it down a little bit. And then I'll just put the ones um, on the side. So we can start with our 50s, 51, 52, 53. Go to our 20s and we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. So 160. Our tens. 10, 20. I'm gonna just have to do that later. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. I don't know if I counted all of that right. Sometimes I have a bad habit of um, miscounting the tens. So we'll just have to see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I counted it right. We have $670 that is going back to. What I'm gonna do, I've listed out all of my sinking funds. Again, there are 15 of them. I'm actually looking to see if I have my ruler and to reach back and get it because I'm gonna go ahead and just draw um, a line underneath. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to notate the amount that I had in my categories um, bef before the month of January so technically I probably should have done this at the beginning of the month but hey I'm new to this journey I just started in um, June of last year so all this is new for me so in December I had $250 so I'm gonna put $250 as my starting balance that way I can document how much money I was able to stuff in the month of January what the ending balance balance is and then do that for every month so in gifts, my starting balance before January or what I had before January was 63. Then I spent 13 out of 10, so I'm back at 63. But that's what I had before January. In school plans, before January, I had 135. birthday I had 380 in the medical I had $50 in church 125 oops like that actually let me grab my white out I forgot that I had this sometimes but comes in handy so that was 125 <clears throat> car maintenance had 111 and then miscellaneous had 85 on to the uh, rose gold envelopes so I did I do have some new categories in these envelopes my new categories are Christmas electronics and then giveaways so these were the previous funds that I had I had a debt envelope beauty and side hustle which I had already pretty much changed this one to giveaways if you've seen my previous videos and you know that but I decided to take beauty out because really and truly whatever I need to get done I just um, budget for it in my spending category so I really don't need this like I mean I could save it but I felt like electronics is more necessary for me because with doing these videos and then just you know phone laptop all that stuff any of that can go out chargers can go out so that was more necessary for me and then debt I pay a lot of money toward my debt already not that I can't put more toward it you can always put more t towards it but I want to do an individual uh, fund for Christmas instead of lumping it together with gifts like I did last year so this is kind of like you know six months Six, seven months into my journey you know what I'm learning and what I want to change so emergency had 280 before January and I did just transfer the money over so that's why they already have money in them Christmas has 65 electronics had I ended up at a zero balance at the end of um, December in functions 
I had $20 in giveaways, which we currently have a giveaway going on. Actually, I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this video, so it may have already closed by now, but it closes on January 15th, just in case I post this before January 15th. If not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, that's why you want to subscribe and follow so you don't miss any giveaways. In giveaways, I have $40. In taxes, I have $30. And then in future, I had um, $130. So obviously I have already started stuffing the funds for this month, but I want to track where I was before this month got started. So that's why I chose to do it that way. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.